Okay, so here is a collective Saqqara haul. I didn't buy all of these at once, but like I recommend like all of these. Okay, here is what you get with the 10 day reset from Saqqara. You get the meal plan recipes and like their philosophy, um, which is great even after I'm done with the 10 day detox, I'm still going through this and like I still love the recipes and this is great. You get the clean boutique with all of their products and stuff. So you get the energy bars. There's 10. No, there's six in each. Sorry. Because you would have like one a day plus some extra after the for the 10 day detox. The detox super bar is honestly my favorite. It's like if you were a kid, um, or like when you were if you were the kid that wanted to eat Play-Doh. Um, this is kind of like you get to eat Play-Doh and it's tasty and good for you. Um, the complete probiotic, which is great. You take it, yep, two capsules a day. And this, I like, I love a multi, like you have to take more than one probiotic a day. I love that. Um, okay. You get the Saqqara Super Herb Detox Tea, which is great. Um, and afterwards, so like, I've already started this, y'all. <laughs> you get the um, like single serving bags of the protein greens that's all vegan, which we love. Um, yeah. You get the beauty water drops, which honestly like are one of my favorite things. Cause like that one, yeah. And it's in a beautiful, beautiful white matte bottle. And then you get the detox water, which are chlorophyll drops. And um, I, I love chlorophyll and I love this bottle, but to buy like separately, I like this is like a really expensive product that doesn't have to be so what i plan on doing is just keeping this bottle and like putting my other chlorophyll that like because i've got like a big bottle too um to just refill and then you can like take it places with you and everything which is nice So for breakfast on the 10 day detox from Saqqara is actually not like one of their recommended recipes, but I'm doing my best to incorporate it because I always have a smoothie bowl. So I am going to be using like their protein and greens, which is like in all of their um, breakfast recipes for this. And they encourage you to have vegetables at every meal and I'm like a sweet breakfast person so sorry that's super loud I'm going to make a smoothie bowl with cherries cherries dragon fruit 
and frozen jackfruit and spinach and oat milk and protein powder. So, this is just how I start my day off no matter what with breakfast. So I wasn't feeling as satiated with the things that they were recommending, so I am making it work. Sometimes, like, I'll, when I'm at work making this, because I'm a nanny, so I can have the luxury of using a kitchen and everything during the day, I, what I like to do is, like, meal prep, um, which I kind of do meal prep, but I will get, like, little snack-sized bags or, like, little um, containers and go ahead and, like, put in the proper portion because... Too often I will throw things in a blender and it's like way too much. It's like way more than I intended to. So we're just gonna throw a bunch of spinach in here. Sometimes it comes out runnier. I'm going to need that is um, Lily. She's our musical dog. She is really good at playing the squeaky cookie that she has. Okay, and then. This is one serving size, okay. I normally don't put protein powder in my smoothie bowls, and maybe I should. did forget one of my, see this is huge, maybe my husband will get some of this. Um, I forgot one of my ingredients. So I like to freeze um, like canned coconut milk, like whole fat, no gums situation so that I can get those um, healthy fats and coconut oil helps you poop. We love to poop around here. We like to be empty. Back in the blender we go, except this is all messed up. Hey Carter. Babe. Yeah. The blender thing, I need help. Thing came out. Okay, it's 
seated correctly in the other? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. a grosser color but this is actually a really pretty green and this is kind of a big smoothie bowl but here we are so it's not going to be like as cute. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I made this cute every day. But I'll try. So basically I have a giant bowl of fruit in the morning on top of blended fruit. You're just going to take the cashew cream and drizzle that onto the smoothie bowl. You can drizzle it all over or just on the bananas. This is one of the recipes that I am like most proud of and I use it every single time I make a smoothie bowl. It's literally the icing on top. Okay. So I take, just kidding. <laughs> so I take one cup of cashews into a blender and then um, I want to say like half a cup of oat milk, almond, like literally whatever kind of nut milk you want, literally don't care, you're going to put it in here. This seriously elevates a smoothie bowl like no other. Okay, you're gonna take some pinches of French salt. This is Florida cell, you can do pink salt, whatever you want. Any vanilla, I have this one. You're just gonna do a bunch. You're lucky I even put cashews in a cup. And then you're going to take vanilla bean paste or vanilla beans, this is just easier. And then I pour a lot of this in. This, we make sickeningly like, sweet so that um, it like adds, cause you don't like eat it by itself. It's just like a yummy thing you put on top of smoothie bowls to make it creamy. And you're going to need some honey, like a lot. Okay, that's good. Did I maybe make it too sweet? Maybe. Okay. And then 
and you're just going to blend that until it's smooth if you like or you can try it chunky whatever you want i like it smooth I'll make like a big batch of this so it like lasts me for a whole week and then that way I don't have to keep making it every single day because that's annoying that's not efficient then I just put it in a container to store it imagine all right And then this makes the perfect topping for a smoothie bowl. So, aside, like, explaining and showing you the process of the smoothie bowl making makes it seem like it takes a lot longer, but it really doesn't. Um, so, like, Saqqara, they have, like, a whole meal plan like daily delivery thing or like three times a week or five times a week some they've got like all different things um and it's really expensive and so they offer the 10 day detox which i think is great i've never even done the other ones um but i think the 10 day detox is great and like gets you right on track and it's fun and I love the creativity Saqqara has. Like, I would not think of so many of these things. More so, like, the lunch and the dinner because smoothie bowl's pretty basic. Fun. I like it. I'm the basic bitch, but... Um, as far as like each individual product, like once you're done with the detox, cause it comes with all of this. As far as like certain individual products though, like don't feel like you have to have certain things like the chlorophyll. This is in a really cute bottle and I'm definitely going to keep the bottle, but I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase their specific chlorophyll cause it is more on the pricey side. The beauty water mineral drops. I, this is like a unique product to their brand so I don't know even where else you would get this so I would personally think it's worth it I'm also like a supplement queen and I literally told my husband that I was like I'd get this and he's like you need another supplement yes um I really do like their protein powder plant-based protein I've been through a lot some of them suck some of them don't this one doesn't suck and it's filled with like insane things that I love. The detox tea is really nice. It's fantastic, but to buy on its own, it's really expensive and it's not anything like what, like don't feel like you have to spend money on just the detox tea. If that makes sense. If you can afford it, absolutely by all means. But like someone who's coming from a more of a budgeted mind, or married to one. Um, don't feel like you have to buy the twenty dollar tea. It comes with it though, like the whole thing. But I mean, like later on when you're done with it all. What else? Yeah, and honestly, like the fact that it comes with like the recipe book and everything, that is really worth it in itself too. I was going to try to eat this outside, but it's actually really windy. It's a very nice, beautiful day, but it is so windy you wouldn't have been able to hear me.